Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, gamers. This is Bubba versus Owan. This will be interesting. I mean, Carol, Carol's ability to just fight from a distance and play really, really strong ledge trapping game, I feel like is going to be an interesting dynamic against Wii Fit. Because Wii Fit not only loves to be at the ledge, but is quite good at the ledge. So I feel like a lot of it is just going to be like 808 trying to like make the best of Wii Fit Trainer's game. Like make the best of what Wii Fit Trainer wants to do. Like turn it into his own. Ah, you meant to turn that around. That would be quite good if he did that, in fact. Yeah. And then a lot of it is just going to be tough getting past the zone. Because it's like, once they're up close, like, they can do infinity damage, but, like, you know, it's tough to deal with them getting up close as opposed to, you know, rushing down. Or as opposed to zoning route, I should say. Yeah, stall. Stall out the deep breathing. Inteligente. Yeah. Doesn't kill without the breath. Smart. Yep, yep, yep. Back throw. Yeah, this is... And you wouldn't believe it, but this is an even game. <laughs> this is an even game. Yeah. yeah. Again, just 808 needs to... Oh, he kind of knew, but was just a little off the mark. A little off the mark. Yeah, that was a bit of an early record right there. But, I mean, I don't know. In general, like, he's not... Have, his game plan is not incorrect. Maybe that was a little, little, little risky, but... Oh, okay. Well, then. See you all. Yeah. 
All right, I'm back. It's going to be the end of game, it looks like, number two between 808 and 01. Uh, this matchup seems like it's stinky balls for K. Roll, I'm not going to lie. K. Roll is a character that's like a super heavy, which means he gets comboed like crazy. Built off projectiles, which uh, Weefit doesn't really have to deal with too, too bad because she's small and has her own. This is scary, though, I'll say that much. Oh, good grab there by Ob1. And I don't know really how he deals with, uh, oh, it's gonna be Tech Chase, misses it, should be this. That probably should have been game, but. Wow, what a reflect. I was gonna say, like, I feel like he just gets comboed, ledge trap, walled out, that type of stuff. His ledge trapping probably isn't nearly as good versus, uh, Wii Fit. You have to commit, that's the issue with dealing with Wii Fit's ledge trap, because her, her ledge hang is very low, and then her. Rising Soccer Ball is safe, and her roll is very far, so you have to cover multiple options with completely different options at the same time. Good job not letting him get the deep breath off. That's huge. Uh, this, could be, this could be game. Oh, I'm surprised he backed her, actually. That's like a mash 50-50. I guess he didn't want to die. Oh, good tech. Sour spot. Not going to kill. Unfortunate. I'm surprised he didn't run off back here. Oh, and he missed a grab! And that would have been the game. I was going to say, the, the runoff back here is very big, and it, it can definitely kill really early because it's untackables or spikes. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing there. Anyway, come on. I was going to say, that's that's pretty unsafe. I know it's last stock situation, and he thought, you know, oh, he might roll, and nah, if, 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 you, if you commit the blunderbuzz, you can definitely just sunball there. Close game. Close game. Unfortunate both of those down airs at ledge spike. I mean, uh, sour spot. I always say that K roll down air is probably like maybe the best in the game for stomping. For like in comparison to like Falcons, the only other like. Uh, it's 2 0 Ob 1. Ob 1 1. Um, and the thing is, the reason I say that is because A, it has armor, so it can just beat certain options that like Falcons can't. But it also is very fast. But the downside is the sour spot is pretty bad. It doesn't really kill. It sends it a good angle, but it doesn't kill. It does, it's, you know, if you tech it, you're not going to die to it. Uh, if you hit the stage. And Obon is definitely very... He's definitely like the campy we fit, the John Number school of like, not... He knows combos. It's not like he doesn't, but he doesn't do combos like Gregorian. He just pretty much planks, as you can see, camps with soccer ball, sunball, and ant here with their forward air. And like, it's basic, but hey, man, it's good enough to win. Especially in a matchup like this, what a counter. Because he got hit by the soccer ball, the countered soccer ball, and the actual counter itself. That's why it did so much. Ah, that's stuck. 808 tweeting recently about K. Roll Backer being like probably his most underrated move, which I could agree with. It's stupid slow. Good weight there. Good combo. That's going to be like 50. Yeah. But I was going to say, um, the back air, it's, it's slow, but it's so big. It's kind of like raw back air in that aspect, even though it's slow, it's massive. The spike kills stupid early. The, the sweet spot, when you're grounded, kills stupid early. And uh, if you get spiked in the air and miss attack, it can combo, which is the issue. It's a little gimmicky because you have to miss attack, but easily make him back. Good ledge stall. Yeah, not going to get hit by ground. That's why he wanted to hug the wall there because it makes it so much harder for ground to hit him. If uh, Carol up is directly below ledge, you can just throw it down and it hits him every time. So that's very smart uh, awareness there by 808. Some good Carol tech to deal with his own crown. Yeah, see, now up one, I was going to say, he's adjusting and now he's going off stage. That's going to be impeccable. Um, both at two stocks now. That's big damage. Okay, not as much. What's up, Scragus? Not as much damage than uh, he could have. Either way, 54, though. Ooh. That would have been really scary to get by that spike. Would have totally killed. Even, very even game right now. Go for the backer. Never mind. He actually uh, opened one very smartly. Wow, the reshot hit him. That's actually kind of insane. I was going to say, Obon very smartly uh, not going towards the stage and said up being away, which is the counterplay for it. Aliens with some very smart recoveries right now. Cannonball into the blunderbuss is going to do 24. Unstill, I think it does 30. Which means it shows you how many times it's hit it. Super gimmick, but there is options to deal with people that know how to deal with the, the cannonball. Sour spot, that's unlucky. See, it's kind of funny because that move is 
massive and like the sour spot it's it's bad because it just does nothing the only good thing it does is tech chase but um it's like yeah i mean it without if it didn't have the sour spot it had nothing instead the move would be way smaller because that sour spot is huge good recovery again by 808 good recovery here by oh one both playing really smart versus each other good up air there that upper is actually really hard to deal with when you're off stage because it has armor and uh, it has a huge hitbox. And sometimes you can go off, try to hit him and trade, and I'm getting plaques. Good blood shaft there by Obi Wan, getting stuck. Anyway, it's gonna need a nice little trap here. That's super safe. You have to preemptively throw out a hitbox to deal with that, because then you hit the soccer ball back at her. That's how you deal with the rising header ledge. But again, you have to commit because then if you go for a button and then she rolls, she's back on stage safely. Like it's just a mix-up. Oh, no, no back air. Either way, guess it's detailed on the roll. F smash. Good spacing because that roll is massive, so it's really annoying to do it. Going into game number four. Uh, any stage adjustment I'd like to see? Nope, because I don't know this matchup. I do know Obi Wan loves this stage. He does not go PS2. He always goes small battlefield. I think it's just because of the platform height. It's easier for him to tech chase off of at lower percents, if I had to guess. But I wouldn't want to be dealing with Wii Fit on flat stages. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe FD is better versus her just because she doesn't have the platform extensions. And her combo game is very independent of platform extensions. Maybe yeah, I should ban the stage. I'll keep that in mind for myself. A lot of that's been happening. A lot of them crossing each other up with grabs away from each other. Good pressure there with the, uh, I was going to say good pressure there with the cannonball. Good rising fair, aggressive. Always going to throw out a button after that nair. There's a, oh, it was called the Wii Fit Hive Mind. After you're doing landing nair, you always throw a button out. You don't have to. That's the thing. That's a mix-up, but no button doesn't do it every time, but it is very often. And it works because people don't know how to deal with it. Ah, uh, the up tilt is unsaved, that's how you deal with it. Okay, good recovery. Actually hitting the soccer ball. One of the few projectiles that B can beat because it has HP. Good cannonball. You gonna roll? I doubt it. Yeah, it's full blood there. Good F tilt to challenge the uh, header. Yeah, he rolls. It does not get the, he gets the sour spot unlucky. He gets the up smash anyway. 808 with a stock lead now, killing him really early. The D smash is really smart. That covered a lot off because it has armor. I don't know if it. What it? What are you going for? Okay, no SD there for one. Ah, uh, that's unlucky. He went for the air dodge, uh, the spot dodge in the back air. He does a sour air and then spot does a uh, short hop back air. If you spot dodge, you get hit by it. It does like 23 or something. That's insane damage. But um, barely missed it. Ended up dying for it because through the crown after. Doesn't get the tech chase, unlucky. Good ledge trapping here, just spamming fair. Yeah, he does a lot of those aggressive um, forwarders back on, on stage. I think 808's gotta be able to read that he's going for it. And he should be either D smashing, I think, or just challenging with a fair. Because if you trade, you win, you know. Yeah, by the cannonball, kind of interesting. Good armor, but does not space it properly. Oh, one brought it back, actually, in the very small lead, but in the lead nonetheless. These these edge guards have not worked once, I don't think, at least since I've sat down. That should be a stock. Oh, does not get it. Oh, one really late on it. Oh, goes for the double dip. Pretty smart there, right away. He couldn't, it was too low for set to follow up with anything right there. Now getting actually a hit doesn't do anything because he tacked it. Regrab. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm wrong. Up tilt. Sour up tilt. Oh, okay. Obon's got some good mash. That's actually pretty insane. Roll. Yeah, he read it. Uh, I went for the forward air. Missed space. It got the back throw anyway, so. Hit away with another very small stock lead. I say that because he's at 150. Ledge stall. Just waiting out the deep breathing. Pretty smart up right away. Just hold ledge up. Oh, shit. Jab, 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 in the crown. No combo. He wanted the grab. I would have gone for probably the nair afterwards, but... Ooh, doesn't matter. It does matter. Gets a nair. Let's trap. Again, like I said, you have to challenge that rising header. Good 
Good blunderbuss. Hit away with a big lead now. Definitely doable for Albon, of course, because we Fit has some pretty insane. You gotta stop getting hit by the blunderbuss so much. Gets up with a cannonball, that's so funny. Two stock eight away, going to game five. Might see another reverse 3-0. Fuck me for letting me have that happen earlier. Um, going into game number five, 808 versus Obwan. Winner plays Juan P. Pretty much 808's ledge trapping just leveled up um, with that game. That's why he took that big lead. He just kept reading um, Obwan's habits at ledge. Like he, Blunderbuss is neutral got up, he backed through his roll, and he nared through the rising header. So he beat all three options that you're going to see Weefits pretty much do. Getup attack is a mix-up that Weefits do. Of course it's good, because getup attack is pretty good in this game. Um, obviously it can be hard red, but it's a good mix-up. Obon, of course, still staying Weefit. Everyone in chat seems to be a big 808 fan. Me too. I love 808, and he's super cool. Always been a pretty hype player, minus the month that he played Steve. Carol, unfortunately, is just ass. But he's playing against Weefit, so it's not really... Oh, that's it! Yep, I was about to say, that is definitely a stock. A really unlucky start here from 808. Good good reaction there by Obon to realize what was happening. Going for it again. He, yeah, up, he can't really challenge that up he, with most things. Yeah, you're going to see a big combo here. He does drop it, so nothing crazy. Yeah, he's trying to return the favor. Ooh, that forward air is such a good anti. If you've never seen Wii Fit's forward air hitbox, look it up. It's insane. Oh, don't do it again! No! And that's so bad. Yeah, see, that's what sucks if you miss that counter. It's so laggy. Yeah, now he's just kind of throwing out some options that are kind of non-options. I think he's probably, if I had to guess, a little tilted, because that's really unfortunate. He's misinputting a lot now. Yeah, it's definitely gotten to him. Obon with a fat lead. That's so unlucky for 808. Good good, good for Obon. Probably could have ended it there, actually. I think he could have hit the up smash. I don't know if it kills without deep breathing, but that move is really strong. That should be a stock. Nope, never mind. He was only at, like, 70. Okay, guess the spike, anyway. Press 1, if you believe. I don't. I'm not pressing one. I'm pressing two. Definitely all points game. Yeah. That was such a fast game. It's so unlucky. Just a little too uh, aggressive with those down Bs. A little too aggressive.